Additionally, for VS Code, I do recommend installing following extensions. The better comments extensions, so your commentaries will be highlighted in a different color based on their specificity, like to do will be highlighted in orange, normal comment will stay green, etc. The code spell checker, I really recommend using this because it allows you to write um, a code without grammar mistakes, which are very fun. Next is the debugger for Chrome, which we'll talk about in a specific video, the configuring debugger video. Then the ESLint, which we will also cover in a different video. Uh, the Git Lens, it's a very useful extension for you because it allows you to easily understand where did the change came from using the Git and the power of Git. The GitHub pull request will be very convenient if you are working in a large team where you need to handle multiple uh, pull requests and the team itself. So really useful when you have a large team to manage and you need to check out pull requests very often. Scan to PWA VS Code snippets, which we just installed, and the style lint specifically this one. So I will uninstall this for now, but the stylent. And the must is a trailing spaces because this will allow you to easily track where the trailing space is located because yes, lint will tell you that there is an empty, some trailing space, you won't see it. And I really recommend this extension to highlight them. So, this covers the extensions which are recommended for user in Scandi PWA setup. We'll talk about the VS Code extension which we developed for your convenience. To get it, you first need to go to our GitHub page, to our organization slash Scandi PWA and here search for VS Code and you will stumble upon this Scandi PWA development toolkit which is an extension source. So we copy the URL for cloning it and we go to uh, and we go to let's find out where are we going here. Let's go to uh, let's create a new tab and here go to downloads cd downloads and from here let's git clone the project so i currently cloned the project into my downloads folder let's open this up and let's see using the vs code what we have inside so as you might notice inside we have the readme file so if i open the preview of this readme file we, can, we will be able to easily read it through. So first of all, we need to make sure we have the node. The node is installed in our machine. So how to check this? Um, it's simple. We just open our terminal. Let's open this up here. Uh, and here we write the node minus V. If this command outputs us anything, then we have node successfully installed. Make sure that this version is higher than 10. Otherwise, the, this might not work. So what we do is we run npm install globally. So it's minus G flag VSCE, which is the VS Code extension compiler. We wait until it gets installed. It's as you may see, we got it installed. Now it's time to pack the extension. Sorry. So uh, we press, uh, we copy the command, which is uh, VC package, and we paste it here. And in a matter of seconds, we should have the VS6 extension ready. Now I can press on the open, uh, I'm sorry, now I can press Uh, preferences? No. Uh, pack extension there should be. Um, 
Wait a second. Oh yes, it's uh, now I click on the extensions in the VS Code and from here I select install from VSIX and this is what we have just created. Here is kind of PWA development toolkit VSIX. So I open this up and you might see that the uh, reload is required. So we are reloading our VS Code and now and the extension should become available so if we press yeah we can see that create new component is here but if we run it you might see that current pw directory is not recognized as an error so to for this extension to work you must follow specific file structure so how to get to the specific file structure or which folder you need to open well uh because how this uh, scans PWA works, you must open your theme folder. So you go to your SRC application, design, frontend, Scandi web, or whatever uh, vendor you prefer, PWA. And here you will notice all of the theme files. So I click OK to open it. Sorry, I click OK to open it. And I get my um, and I got my folders opened. Now I will, uh, this is not a required step. This is just my recommendation. What I, what I suggest you to do is to add additional folder to our workspace. And now we'll get this folder from the vendor, Scandi PWA. And from here, we will select the source. The source is the original Scandi PWA files. Notice the difference. In source, we will have the SRC application full of code. So we will have the component here, we will have the queries, etc. In our theme, we will have everything empty. We won't even have the application folder. But even now, even now, if we press this, the issue is still here. Why? because we need to create the application folder. So we open this up, we press on new folder and we name it the application. Cool. So now we can try this extension. I encourage you to check the extend source component command. So to find it, you just write extend and it advises you. So you select extend, extend source component and what you had to see currently is a list of potentially extendable components. Currently it's not being shown. Let's understand why. I will reload my VS code and try again. I'll write extend source component. Still doesn't work. Let's try downloading the upgrade. Well, it doesn't work because it requires a little bit of additional configuration. We need to go into settings and go to Scandi PWA. Here you will find the path to Scandi PWA source. As you might see, this is not a path which exists. So what we should do is we should change it to uh, we should change it to one to three, one to three, one to three vendor scandi pwa source so this is going away uh, from front scandi from pwa folder this is from scandi web folder this is from frontend folder from application folder and this is from design folder i assume like this and let's check if it works now Yes, it works. Now when I select, now when I press, so this is the correct path, which should be written here. So I should see when I press extend source component, I should see a list of components to extend. From here, I can select one I want to extend. An example, this could be breadcrumbs. And it asks me whether I want to extend anything, oh, sorry, uh, in my, let's cancel this. Uh, 
uh, let's once again choose breadcrumbs and it asks me whether I want to extend anything in the component which is the presentation of the class or and I assume I can press enter would you want would would we like to extend anything from the container or the business logic slash global state connector I assume we do not and if you want to uh, restyle anything so I would say I don't want to restyle I just want to alter the rendering logic so I leave styles as they are and voila we have the app component breadcrumbs created but unfortunately we have some file called undefined we should remove it because it will play no role so we are left with the breadcrumbs.component where we have to-do list of implementing breadcrumbs how can we implement them well very easy we need to write export class the class we want to uh, to be named in uh, extends source breadcrumbs and here we can implement to do um, override override original methods so methods uh, so let's see what methods are available for us we can press on this link and the VS Code will try to load the original class because we have loaded this source folder it will open it up so as you may see here is the original logic of breadcrumbs and we can alter it in any way we want very cool but how to understand if uh, we want to override breadcrumbs or whatever else well we'll have a different video for it and in this video we will explain you how to efficiently work with scans of PWA in terms of I want to extend this component how should I do it can I how to go through and uh, debug or understand what is required from you to change anything but before this this video ends so thank you guys for watching uh, this video explained you how to install and configure the VS Code extension for your needs and it showcases how you can work uh, more efficiently using the VS Code. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.